next guest is here to make us his delicious pear sheet pan Dutch baby, perfect for a cozy and cold winter morning. <laughs> Please welcome back the incomparable, one of the greatest guys Aww. I know, Chef Ronnie Wu. I feel the same, baby. <laughs> I love being here. I, mean, I love just, being here. You're, you're just such a light. You're Aww. so vibrant, and your feet are really well, I feel like I fit in, because all of you guys are lights, too. Oh, thank you. As you can see, joining uh, Cam at the counter, Maria, Ken, and Larissa have well, really worked thank up you. an appetite today. They're very yep. excited about your Good. Favorite. So I know that this recipe is a family favorite for you. It is. My family and I love this recipe, not only because it's so easy, but it's delicious. Really is. And after like, Christmas, you know, after like a really long night of opening presents, you don't want to like spend a lot of time making breakfast, but you want something hearty and delicious. So it goes right. really well. Of eggs. And the good news is you could do this the day before and then put it in when you're ready to do it, right? Exactly. Yeah, oh it's a total God. make ahead oh, as well. Okay, so it starts See? with your delicious oh, pears. So how do we prepare our pears to Ooh, roast? Okay. All right, so this is super easy. It's just like roasting vegetables. And I was telling you earlier, we can use apples, you can use Asian pears, cherries, peaches, whatever is available, need. whatever fruit you like. You okay. can even use canned pears if you like oh, it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Anything. You don't even need to Whoa. put fruit in it, but I try to <laughs> but tell why not? myself a little healthier. Really so I just put some salt, nutmeg, and ground cinnamon. Just and some melted butter. Yep. And by the way, what you're just making right now and putting these in the oven, yeah. those alone are are beautiful for oh my any God. meal. Delicious. As well. Yes. And like as can, a treat. You as know? a treat, or like even an ice cream topping oh when you want to feel kind of healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I always try to find a way to feel less guilty about eating stuff. <laughs> But I mean, all it is is nutmeg and cinnamon, a little bit of salt. Yeah. Well, I mean, the butter's fine. It's Ooh. good for you. Butter's not bad. I mean, no. it's dairy. Is, is this cereal? Better than that fake stuff. That's true. Is this one of those things that it doesn't matter if they're ripe or not? So because you're cooking yes. it, so you've got like those Thank hard, you, hard, hard pears. Yeah. If you have super hard pears, you don't even need to find right ones. Actually, un less ripe are better. Okay. Oh, yep. Wow. Pop okay. it in the oven, roast them real quick, about 10, 15 minutes. That's it. Then Ooh. you get these beautiful tender roasted pears. Oh, wow. Okay. So we'll set those aside set on the sheet aside. pan for a minute. Now yep. we're gonna make our our batter. The batter is super. The batter is stupid easy. I was gonna say stupid easy. I was gonna say super easy, super, but stupid, super <laughs> easy. <laughs> it is three eggs. So it's a, it's almost a basic um, pancake batter. It is a similar pancake batter, a little more souffle-ish. Okay. Okay, a little more popoverish. I always say this is a ah, hybrid. Popover, yeah, this is like a nice right. pancake popover hybrid. Okay, some it's brown like they had sugar. a baby. Yep. You make popovers. popovers are so good. I love popovers. So brown sugar, too. some vanilla extract, some more salt to bring out all the flavors, and then we have a little bit of flour. So it's a actually not even flour. that bad. Wow. Very little, Thank yeah. God. It's really just wow. to sort of hold it together. There we go. Yep. Oh, this is, it's, a, it's very watery. It's a very watery so batter. So it's also like easy to mix. You yes. Know? It's also like okay. a protein shake. So okay. Then. So what we're going to do here, we have the batter here. And again, you can make this overnight. And sometimes making it overnight actually helps the flour hydrate. So it's actually even better oh, if you fluffier. make it. But you're not really going to tell the difference. Okay. You know, it's delicious either way. We're going to have some more melted butter. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Now, can I ask you something? Do you prefer the salted melted butter or... The unsalted. I always do this unsalted because with the unsalted, you can control how much salt you put okay. in it and use it for multiple things, whereas right. the salted, you know, it's just pre-salted. You guys right. ever use grass-fed butter? It's such a big difference health-wise mm. with grass-fed really? butter. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's yeah. Okay, it's night day, but I don't want to distract flavor, you. It's a different flavor, though. Yeah, so I always kind of, it depends on what you're making. So we have the butter here. It's going to really create that fluffy flakiness. Now you're doing it in a sheet pan, but would you do it, could you do it in a cast iron skillet or a, a souffle pan? Or? Yes, you know your stuff, Deb. Okay. So yeah, you can definitely do it in like a cast iron skillet. You can do it in a casserole dish. You can right. do it Perfect. in sort of anything that will create, you don't want it too big because you don't want it too like spread out. Exactly. But you can do it in anything. That's what makes it so easy and cozy and delicious. But I think the hardest part of this recipe, if you do it in the sheet pan, is getting Take it in the oven without <laughs> spilling. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so it, now this goes in. It goes in the oven. At 425. And then in one second, you have this. <laughs> <laughs> it takes one second in the oven. It's really, for wow. 20 minutes? It's like 20 oh, to 25 minutes okay. at 425. It's super quick. You can go, you know, open more presents if you want to, <laughs> wrap more presents, whatever the day calls <laughs> for. Ronnie, uh, you were doing this ahead of time, yes. like you said. Would you pour it? It and then put it in the fridge, or how would the process be? Yeah, so if you like did it ahead of time, you can actually just prepare the roasted pears and then put butter in it. You can put it back in the refrigerator and it will just yeah. harden. Okay. Pour, you can actually pour the batter on top, but you want to separate the two. You don't want to. You keep the batter in this okay. yeah. and then do it okay. when you're ready to go. Do it when you're ready to or, cook or it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And if it's going to be cold, it might that. take a little bit longer, so okay. just kind of keep an eye on okay. it. So but now again, we cover it's it with very some easy. powdered sugar. Powdered sugar makes <laughs> everything pretty. 
Oh, look at that. It's so Christmassy. It's so Christmassy. Well, what's it's like great snow. About this? Oh, no. You don't spend all this time making pancakes. Exactly. In the I want to do this. And you miss your family because you're I making mean, pancakes. Exactly. Exactly. The batter comes together. Yeah, you don't have right. to watch it because pancakes, you got to flip them. Yeah. Right. It's and a little bit. And I'll leave it to me to ask this question, too, but could you use almond flour instead of regular flour? Really? Yeah. It's yeah. Christmas, Cam. Well, I'm it's just it's Christmas. Christmas. I'm thinking about uh, not Christmas. Not exactly. Debbie knows the answer. Debbie. Every day weekend. Like, if I'm making this every week. Cam, the answer is no. No. Because the flour is going to make it dense. The reason it's fluffy is because of the fluffy flour. Yeah. You, on, it, you can make it. it Mental be, note, never ask almond flour questions. Just eat some again. almonds, Cam. Yeah. Like, almonds, just eat them. Yeah. Or you know what you could do? I've got a perfect, uh, perfect uh, solution. Just slice up some almonds and put it on top of it. Ooh. Yes. Right?